The term NFT explains. NFT stands for non-fungible token and describes a non-exchangeable value. This means that an NFT is in contrast to an exchangeable value, such as a currency. Fungibility, or interchangeability, is a term used in business and finance. This is the opportunity to exchange an item for a similar item of comparable value. For example, four $5 bills can be exchanged for one $20 bill without changing the value. Non-fungible values NFTs, are the exact opposite. Each NFT is unique and cannot be replaced by any other item. Famous paintings are a good example of such items. You can't just replace a Van Gogh with a poster from the museum shop. The poster does not have the same value as the real painting. Why should I buy an NFT when the picture is freely available on the internet? Almost everyone can view, copy and save a picture online. However, an NFT gives buyers something that cannot be copied. Namely, the possession of work. You can think of NFTs like collectibles. Like paintings, postage stamps, comics, just in digital form. At first glance, however, it looks like you're buying something that is already available for free on the internet. About pictures and videos. A LeBron James slam dunk recently sold for $208,000 as a trading card. However, the video is freely available on the internet. The problem, a collector's item in real life is tangible. A painting like the Mona Lisa may look different from poster copies. Digital NFTs, on the other hand, are visually indistinguishable from their copies. Only an underlying encryption guarantees that it is the original. An NFT is only valuable because others assign it an imaginary value. In the context of the LeBron dunk this means, the trading card with the video is the official NBA clip. Having the official clip is the prestige that gives the card its value. Only those who have this card really own the clip. Everything else are copies and imitations. How do you ensure that an original is not simply copied? NFTs are part of the Ethereum blockchain. This is the basic framework for the cryptocurrency Ether, the second most valuable in the world after Bitcoin. There are now other blockchains that have introduced NFTs, but the Ethereum network is still the largest NFT platform. So, NFTs are a type of cryptocurrency. In contrast to Bitcoin, Ether, and others, however, they are unique. They have a kind of digital signature, similar to the signature of a great painter. This means that the original can always be recognized as the original, even if there are tons of similar copies of it. The blockchain is comparable to the bookkeeping of an account, but it takes place online and purely digitally. It's a surefire way to track sales of digital assets. Unlike in a ledger, NFTs are stored as a series of numbers and letters. This virtual certificate contains information about the owner of an NFT, as well as the date of sale and to whom it was sold. With the purchase, your transaction of the money you spend on an NFT is added to the list of previous transactions. Saving this data in the blockchain guarantees the authenticity and uniqueness of the NFT. Who needs NFTs anyway? A NFT solves a problem that especially creatives often have on the internet. In this way, you can ensure that your works are not simply copied on the internet. Creating a unique original increases its value. There can only ever exist one original of each NFT that is authentic. So the goal is to create an artificial scarcity. A good example is a streaming service like Spotify. Musicians only receive small amounts for their songs on Spotify. A song as an NFT would be only available as an original on the internet once, the value would increase immensely. There may be copies of the song, but only one person can actually own the original. In addition, the author of an NFT can stipulate that a certain amount is to be lost to him or her every time the token is resold. Thanks to NFTs, creatives can also offer things for which there was no sales platform before. For example, gifts or stickers to send via messenger. In principle, NFTs can be anything that can be stored digitally. At the moment, however, the focus is on digital art. NFTs are driven by speculation. Even for savvy collectors, NFTs are a way to make money. Like the art market, you can buy an NFT and speculate that its value will go up. For example, someone bought a Gucci Ghost for $3,600 US dollars on the Nifty Gateway site and is now asking for $16,300 US dollars for it. The original price to create the image was $200. What types of NFTs are there? NFTs are used, digital art and sports collectibles, but also video games. One of the first applications that made use of the NFT principle is the digital collecting game CryptoKitties from 2017. At the end of the game you could buy, exchange and breed collecting cats. 
Each new cat was an NFT, so the authenticity and uniqueness were guaranteed. The original copy of the Nyan Cat, a popular meme from 2011, partly cat, partly Pop-Tart, an American sweet pastry, was sold in an online auction in February 2021 for 300 ethers, approximately $600,000. The US band Kings of Leon released digital-only albums and earned $2 million US dollars. Twitter founder Jack Dosey's first tweet sold for $2.5 million in March. Even the New York Times is offering articles as NFT for a mere $560,000. The auction house Christie's also auctioned its first purely digital work of art in the form of an NFT for $69 million US dollars in March, a picture collage called the first 5,000 days that had been in the works for 13 years. The US NBA, for example, shows how NFTs work as trading cards with Top Shot. Users can use it to collect short videos with basketball highlights. As of October 2020, NBA Top Shot has raised more than $333 million. Of course, the fact that an NFT is unique does not mean that each object is unique. As in real life, trading cards can exist multiple times. But thanks to the blockchain, it is tracked when each individual card has changed hands.